So I'm just going to charge that up with the constant current of 800 milliamps. I'll leave it there and uh, I'll monitor the voltage, of course. I've actually got it uh, set to uh, 1.75 volts, but you don't necessarily have to do that. But anyway, um, I'll leave that charging and hopefully we'll get a full charge. But I don't know the um, history of this battery. I think I've had it for quite a long time now, a couple of years. Now it's been in storage. It's never been used. So yeah, I, it may not, we may not get full capacity out of this, but you know, we get reasonably close, I think. All right, so let's measure the capacity of this thing. Um, please excuse the crudity of my battery holder here. I lost it in the lab move. So anyway, I've whacked some tape on there. I'm using a uh, Kelvin connection four terminal uh, sense. So we're sensing the voltage directly on the battery. I've got my electronic load here. I'm gonna set it to cut out at uh, one volt here, which is a nominal sort of uh, cutout uh, voltage. And uh, I won't set any uh, timeout or anything like that. So we'll get our milliamp hour uh, figure here. We've got a battery discharge application here. As you can see, it's currently 1.37 volts. It was up to 1.5 uh, uh, something, but it's I've left it overnight or a day or two. And uh, so it's fully charged after roughly, I don't know, because I used my power supply, it wasn't a fancy pantsy charger, I just left it until it peaked at like 1.6 volts and then started to drop a little bit, and then uh, I know, yeah, near enough to full, so uh, we won't obviously test it at the 1C rating of 8000 milliamp hour, but we'll use like 1 amp, uh, for example, and well, let's see how long it lasts, should last 8 hours, roughly. Hmm, give or take. But as I said, I don't know the manufacturing date of this cell. I've had it for years. It's certainly not new. It's never been used. So this is the only time I've ever charged it. Eh, so, you know, I'd expect not quite full capacity, but I'd be surprised if we got under maybe, you know, 7,000, something like that. So I'll set the current there to one amp, uh, 40 amp range. And what, we'll go to the four amp range, a bit more accuracy. Okay, one amp, one volt stop, uh, zero milliamp, we're not, uh, we've disabled the stop because you can stop at a certain capacity or you can stop with a certain timer, voltage on 0.5, everything should be hunky-dory, right, off, and hopefully, load, there we go, one amp load, it's timing, there we go, we've extracted one milliamp hour, and I'll just leave that running for a basic, well, it'll automatically stop and then give us the uh, accumulated value here so I don't have to watch it. It'll just automatically stop when it gets to uh, the one volt discharge point, at which point the curve basically starts dropping off like, <laughs> like a brick wall, really. And after two hours and 40 minutes, we're still at 1.285 volts and almost 2,700 milliamp hours there. So already it's greater than the claim capacity of the Energizer one, is it? But of course, the capacity is actually going to vary depending on the discharge rate. And almost five and a half hours later, 5420 milliamp hours, almost seven watt hours. And it's still going 1.236 volts where <laughs> we've set a cutoff voltage of one volt. But of course, right at the end, it'll start to rapidly fall off. So I don't know. It could die in another, you know, 20 minutes or something. I just don't know. But anyway, because uh, this particular cell in the data sheet, it doesn't have any characteristic curves. In fact, it doesn't even specify what current the uh, capacity, the 8,000 milliamp hours is rated at. Because as I said, the capacity of the battery will vary with the discharge current. There you go, seven hours later, and it's made it to 7,000 milliamp hours, and we've still got 0.18 volts left. So yeah, it looks like it may actually make the 8,000 rating. Could even be more because we're only at, uh, well, we're, we're at an amp, which is a significant amount of current. It's not small, but it's certainly not uh, 1C, which would be eight, uh, 8 amps. It's almost midnight. I was about to head home and battery test completed. So let's have a look here. I assume that we can, I haven't actually used the battery discharge feature on this yet. Let's choose OK. Uh, 8300. There you go. 8,333 milliamp hours, 10.38 watt hours, and it went for 8 hours and 21 minutes. Yes, the battery has ju uh, jumped back up from 1 volt, and as you can see, it's actually recovering. You expect that with no load. So there you go. Absolutely confirmed. 
that RS Components one meets its spec uh, better than spec on uh, one amp draw. No worries.